Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Bernie and it's almost a year. Well, one year to be exact, next Thursday, September 30th, when I started this YouTube channel. And I'm so glad and no regrets at all that I did. Yeah, so here we are right now, guys, and I'm so excited to tell you the five things I learned from doing YouTube for a year. And first on the list is that it's okay not to be perfect when it comes to video uploads. What I mean is that it's okay to have some mistakes in the video and it's not always going to be polished. Yes, guys, I am a perfectionist when it comes to editing videos, but I learned that, huh? If I always want my video uploads to be polished and perfect, then I won't be able to follow my schedule and the video will always be delayed. And sometimes I won't be able to get it done at all since I am looking for that perfect video that my viewers will want to watch. So yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect all the time as long as you're able to tell your audience what you wanted to tell them and the message you have for them in any video. That's really all that matters. Next is doubting yourself. Each and every one of us is unique and has something to contribute. There will come a time that you will think about yourself that you are not good enough. I would say this and this is actually based on my experience to just do your thing and do what you are passionate about. There's a lot of YouTube videos which has similar topics and it's okay to do similar videos that other creators already did but huh? put your own spin to it and your own take and personality to the video yes i understand the topic would be the same but what would be different is how you explain stuff in that video or how you present the video to your audience let your personality shine <laughs> and i mean that guys i really believe we all have personalities it's just that sometimes we haven't really discovered ourselves yet that we are good at something all right, moving on now to the third one, which is you are not special. Yes, once your channel gets recognized, or should I say gets the attention from the public, you will get some hit comments. Oh my goodness, guys. And that's okay. It's part of getting yourself out there and being vulnerable. You know, guys, before I really take it seriously and get annoyed if I get hit comments or comment that doesn't align with what I'm saying in the video, but now, not so much, but I have to be honest with you guys that I still do once in a while, but I won't let those hate comments ruin my day, especially ruin my creative flow of doing a video and just value the other positive comments that I receive and put my energy to those instead. People will not always agree with you with what you say or do and that's okay. As they say, you can't please everyone. So just keep going and do what you are passionate about. Also, I take those comments as motivation to keep me going and keep uploading videos that my viewers will want to watch. All right, guys, next number four is it's okay to miss an upload week. Yes, sometimes consistency is really hard. So I try to be consistent all the time, but really doing YouTube is so hard and not for the faint of heart. And once in a while, you will miss an upload. So hats up to those of you who haven't missed a single week. Wow, that's amazing, huh? I tried to really follow my schedule, but sometimes there will come a time that you can't record a video. Not because you don't have any content, but because you are not into it at that particular moment. Yeah, you don't have that creative juice in making that video and it's okay to miss the next upload and just take a break from YouTube overall. And once you're ready and you have this fire to do another video, then that's the time to come back strong. You know, guys, our well-being is way more important than being consistent. And for me, huh, I do YouTube because I'm really passionate about filmmaking, video editing, as well as doing a lot of video tutorials and sharing what I have learned and experienced to my viewers. All right. 
And guys, lastly, do what you are passionate about, really. That's, uh, well, that's simple to say, huh? But really, guys, it's the one thing that will drive you or what will convince yourself to create videos in the first place. Enjoy every minute of it. You know, share what you know, what you have experienced in the past, what you're good at. You don't have to be really a know-it-all person, huh? Just share stuff you are good at. And it doesn't mean you're all well-versed or experienced regarding a certain and topic there's always a learning process with everything and that's speaking about my experiences huh so go out there and create videos that will give value to your viewers as well also know that there's a community out there and that there are also people who have the same knowledge and experiences like yours. So really, it's nice to have that community for you to be able to share what you know and to exchange ideas as well. So there you go, guys. How about you? What's your journey like doing YouTube? I would like to know your experiences and thoughts. Please comment down below and let's discuss. That's about it for this video and I hope you find it helpful in any way. If so, give it a like and don't you forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And while you're at it, please don't forget to hit that bell notification icon to be notified with more awesome videos. Until next time, this has been Bernie. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.